Now may I invite His Excellency Bharat Ratna, Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam, former President of India, to kindly deliver the Foundation Day Lecture on Sustainable Development System for Asia Pacific. <laughs> Friends, one thing I want to tell you, it's not raining outside. I want to take, we all agree, I will take the right to Delhi. <laughs> That's regional cooperation. <laughs> They're really regional cooperation. Uh, Honorable Janab Sayyid Ashwal Islam, Minister for Local Government and Rural Development, Cooperatives. Honorable Janab Jahangir Gabi Nanak, Minister for State uh, rural Development and Cooperatives, Honorable Sri Bankit Saran, High Commissioner of India, and Dr. Turga Prasad Odial, Direct General of Sita, and Dr. Satap Effendi, DG Designate, and Mayor Khandi Majumda, Secretary Rural Development and Cooperatives. Excellencies, Honorable Parliament members, and all the deceased guests and members who are interested in the economic development and rural development of our people. Friends, today, last 10 years I was uh, in the area of one specific area that is Pura. Pura means providing urban amenities in the rural areas. So that always there is a pressure on Dhaka, New Delhi, a big city from the rural area because they see a lot of amenities. Electricity is there, water is there, some employment potential there, they pursue that the employment potential. There is always tremendous migration. I don't want the culture of, the clean culture of villages and the key way of life should be lost. So that's why Pura provided the urban amenities the rural area. Friends, today we are discussing about integrated rural development. Look at the input for rural economy, especially agriculture. The water of rivers which run across the nation the air and rain-bearing clouds which pan across the regions, the soil patterns are all unknown to national boundaries, are unknown to national boundaries. They don't need visa to move between nations. It's a nice thing, you know. They don't have the problem of getting visa. They don't need visa to move between nations, do they? Similarly, similarly in globalizing world, the market for the final product coming from a village may be hundreds, even thousands of miles away from the origin will move as a product. Today, rural products can be manufactured and sold in, in, in and or manufactured and sold in diametrically opposite ends of the planet, provided technology and marketing expertise are built in the nations. Friends, when our inputs are international, when our outputs are also international, it is time to think. Rural development is an international regional agenda. I would like to consider it as a regional agenda. I am happy that Sita is doing this task and today I will be focusing on this agenda. I am indeed delighted to deliver 33rd Foundation Day Lecture at Center on the Integrated Rural Development for Asia Pacific and Dhaka. My greetings to all the ministers, parliamentarians, officials, diplomats, experts and guests from different nations present here. When I am here with all of you, I would like to share my thoughts on the topic Sustainable Development System for Asia Pacific. Sustainable Development System, Sustainable Development System for Asia Pacific. I am glad to know that Sinda had the vision of being an inter, in, intergovernmental organization mandated to facilitate the provision of services that will influence a policy, formulation, and program action towards rural development, poverty elimination, 
through a network of CDAP countries. CDAP countries have several core competencies and every country has a vision to become a developed nation in a time-bound manner like Bangladesh has got by 2021 got a digital Bangla. So it looks to be it looks to be India has got vision, India 2020 vision for prosperity and peace by 2020. So let us now focus on some of them which can be collectively proved as a mutual benefit. Afghanistan is endowed with natural resources such as untapped oil and natural gas, minerals and metals and animal husband resources such as sheep, lamb, wool in substantial quantities. Bangladesh has the core competence in utilizing biodiversity, mobilizing water resources and value addition bamboo, jute and marine products. Iran is known for its energy resources such as rich culture, a law and by Vietnam is recognized one of the rising economies with richly skilled people. India over the years has established itself well in IT and e connectivity. Philippines has a global name in the area of hospitality, nursing and care. Nepal, Fiji and Thailand for their tourism and industry. Pakistan has created a name for itself, cotton, textile, apparel and also Bangladesh. Sri Lanka is known for tea and rubber processing. Myanmar is known for precious stones, particularly rupees. Malaysia is known for fruits and vegetables forming global standards. Let us see how these national competitive advantages can be harnessed for accelerating the transformation of the region as a whole. Also address the challenges faced by the global community. What are the global challenges? Today the challenges in some part of the world are poverty, illiteracy, need of safe drinking water, clean and green energy, equitable distribution of resources, a quality education with value for all, overcoming societal imbalances, and curing diseases, quality health care for all, and good living conditions. Individual nations like India, Bangladesh, and many Asian nations, individual nations are working to find a solution to these challenges. However, we are clearly witnessing the challenges by faced by the nation are not only of their making or the solution amenable to only by the individual nations. There are many international dimensions for the cause and cost and solutions. Hence, working for solution is a collective responsibility of the global community or regional community. When nations start working on the common enemies of military poor health, their tendency to focus on national, regional, global peace with better mutual trust and labor. The global challenges take various manifestations based on the local dynamics which are interconnected of various factors. I have studied that. Let us look at the dynamics of these manifestations. The world today is intimately connected to four rapid challenges. They are environment, people, the economy and ideas. We all know that global warming and climate change are no longer a problem of two generations. They are planetary problems. In the present time, a single product may be made out of components sold from multiple continents and provide services to markets far off from their place of origin. We also saw how the economic turbulence originating one part of the globe, even now, shaping the whole world. The world today is concerned with growing inflationary pressures, recessions, and potential fall growth rate, affecting valuable efforts on development. We witnessed how a volcanic eruption in an island country in Europe brought the entire airline industry and more than 5,000 commercial flights to halt and recent earthquake followed by tsunami has changed the concept of safety, security of our national At the same time, advances in transportation have progressively made movement of people across the nation and region more feasible. This has led to globalization of expertise, talents, which can flow seamlessly from one nation to another. This also has led to the globalization of human diseases. 
the most recent incident being of a different kind of flu which rapidly spread across the globe and threatened the entire human kind. Similarly, ideas and innovation are no longer geographically or politically confined. An invention made today somewhere uh, takes no time to find its market thousands of miles away. The expansion of information communication technology and the convergence of technologies are structuring the new world knowledge, where problem of one part of the world can be, could be solved by multiple experts based at different points of the globe. Seamless flow of information to people also means the total regional issue will invariably gain global prominence and unaddressed problem including poverty can mutate rapidly into global terrorism which you are also witnessed. This flow of ideas also led to increase in importance of global human rights and propagation of idea of democracy. Let me recall an experience. But I was traveling recently in an aircraft in USA from New Delhi to Chicago, it took 16 hours. I was told that much of it controlled by software driven, most probably developed in India. When I presented my credit card, I was told that it was being processed in the back end server of located at our Mauritius. When I walked through the multinational software company in Bangalore, I was fascinated to find that truly presented a multicultural environment. A software developer from China, working under the project leader from Korea, working with the software engineer from India, and the hardware architect from the US, and the communication expert from Germany, were all working together to solve the bagging problem of Australia. When I see all of them working together as one family, forgetting about the culture from which they came or language they speak, 